The Pentium D brand refers to two series of desktop dual-core 64-bit x86-64 microprocessors with the NetBurst microarchitecture, which is the dual-core variant of Pentium 4 Prescott manufactured by Intel. Each CPU comprised two dies, each containing a single core, residing next to each other on a multi-chip module package. The brand's first processor, codenamed Smithfield, was released by Intel on May 25, 2005. Nine months later, Intel introduced its successor, codenamed Pressler, but without offering significant upgrades in design, still resulting in relatively high power consumption. By 2004, the NetBurst processors reached a clock speed barrier at 3.8 GHz due to a thermal limit exemplified by the Pressler's 130W thermal design power. The future belonged to more energy-efficient and slower clock dual-core CPUs on a single die instead of two. The final shipment date of the dual-die Pressler chips was August 8, 2008, which marked the end of the Pentium D brand and also the NetBurst microarchitecture. Pentium D Extreme Edition, the dual-core CPU is capable of running multi-threaded applications typical in transcoding of audio and video, compressing, photo and video editing and rendering and ray tracing. Single-threaded applications, including most older games, do not benefit much from a second core compared to an equally clocked single-core CPU. Nevertheless, the dual-core CPU is useful to run both the client and server processes of a game without noticeable lag in either thread, as each instance could be running on a different core. Furthermore, multi-threaded games benefit from dual-core CPUs. In 2008, Many business applications were not optimized for multiple cores. They ran at similar speed when not multitasking on the Pentium D or older Pentium 4 branded CPUs at the same clock speed. However, in multitasking environments such as BSD, Linux, Microsoft Windows operating systems, other processes are often running at the same time. If they require significant CPU time, each core of the Pentium D branded processor can handle different programs, improving overall processing speed over its single core Pentium 4 counterpart. Equals Smithfield equals. In April 2005, Intel's biggest rival, AMD, had x86 dual core microprocessors intended for workstations and servers on the market, and was poised to launch a comparable product intended for desktop computers. As a response, Intel developed Smithfield, the first x86 dual-core microprocessor intended for desktop computers, beating AMD's Athlon 64X2 by a few weeks. Intel first launched Smithfield on April 16, 2005 in the form of the 3.2 GHz hyper-threading enabled Pentium Extreme Edition 840. On May 26, 2005, Intel launched the mainstream Pentium D branded processor lineup with initial clock speeds of 2.8, 3.0, and 3.2 GHz with model numbers of 820, 830, and 840, respectively. In March 2006, Intel launched the last Smithfield processor, the entry level Pentium D805, clocked at 2.66 GHz with a 533 MTS bus. The relatively cheap 805 was found to be highly overclockable. 3.5 GHz was often possible with good air cooling. Running it at over 4 GHz was possible with water cooling, and at this speed the 805 outperformed the top-of-the-line processors from both major CPU manufacturers in many benchmarks including power consumption. The 805 and 820 models had a 95-watt TDP. All other models were rated at 130 watt. All Smithfield processors were made of two 90 nanometers Prescott cores, next to each other on a single die with one megabyte of level 2 cache per core. Hyper threading was disabled in all Pentium D8XX series Smithfields with the exception of the Pentium Extreme Edition 840. Smithfield did not support Intel VT Zao Euro Intel's x86 virtualization. All Pentium D processors supported Intel 64, XD bit, and were manufactured for the LGA 775 form factor. The only motherboards guaranteed to work with the Pentium D branded CPUs were those based on the 945, 955, 
965 and 975 series Intel chipsets, as well as the Enforce 4 SLI Intel Edition and ATI Radeon XPRESS. The Pentium D820 did not work with the Enforce 4 SLI Intel Edition chipset due to some power design issues, though they were rectified in the X16 version. The 915 and 925 series chipsets did not work at all with the Smithfields, as they did not support more than one core. The 865 and 875 series chipset supported multiprocessing. Motherboards with them might be Pentium D compatible with an updated BIOS. A week after its launch, Intel officially denied a report in Computer World Today Australia that the Pentium D branded CPUs included secret digital rights management features in their hardware that could be utilized by Microsoft Windows and other operating systems, but was not publicly disclosed. While Intel admitted that there were some DRM technologies in the 945 and 955 series chipsets, it stated that the extent of the technologies was exaggerated and that the technologies in question had been present in Intel's chipsets since the 875p. Equals Pressler equals, the last generation of Pentium D branded processors was Pressler identified by the product code 80553, and made of 265 nanometers process cores found also in Pentium 4 branded Cedar Mill CPUs. Pressler introduced the multi-chip module, or MCM, which consisted of two single core dies placed next to each other on the same substrate package. This allowed Intel to produce these processes at a reduced production cost as a result of higher yields. Pressler was supported by the same chipsets as Smithfield. It was produced using 65 nanometers technology similar to Yona. Pressler communicated with the system using an 800 MTS FSB, and its two cores communicated also using the FSB just as in Smithfield. Pressler also included Intel VTX A Euro although this was limited to the 9XO models, and not in the 9X5 models A Euro Intel 64, XD bit, and EIST. Pressler was released in the first quarter of 2006 with a 2X2 MB Level 2 cache. Its models included 915, 920, 925, 930, 935. 940, 945, 950 and 960. All steppings of Pressler models 915, 920, 925, 930, and 935, as well as the C1, DO steppings of 940, 945 featured a 95 watt TDP. All other models were rated at 130 watt a euro a 37% increase in power consumption. The first batch of Pressler processors had the EIST feature turned off by a microcode update because of stability issues. That affected only its power consumption, when idle, and thermal dissipation. Chips with working EIST started shipping in Q2 2006. They had a different SPEC number which can be found in Intel Errata documentation. Equals Smithfield XE equals, the Pentium Extreme Edition was introduced at the Spring 2005 Intel Developers Forum, not to be confused with the Pentium 4 Extreme Edition. The processor was based on the dual-core Pentium D-branded Smithfield, but with hyper-threading enabled, thus any operating system saw four logical processors. It also had an unlocked multiplier to allow overclocking. It was initially released as Intel Pentium Extreme Edition 840 at 3.20 GHz, in early 2005, at a price point of $999.99 or $1,200. The only chipsets that worked with the Extreme Edition 840 were Intel's 955X, NVIDIA's Enforce 4 SLI Intel Edition, and 80 Radeon XPRESS 200. Using a Pentium Extreme Edition branded CPU with an Intel 945 series chipset will disable hyper-threading, effectively turning the processor into a Pentium D branded equivalent. Equals Pressler XE equals, the Pentium Extreme Edition based on the dual-core Pentium D branded Pressler was introduced as the 955 model, at 3.46 GHz and used a 1066 MTS FSB compared to the 800 MTS in the non-extreme edition. A second version, 
the 965 at 3.73 GHz followed in March 2006. Both CPUs also feature hyper-threading technology. Many overclockers, however, had been able to overclock the core to 4.26 GHz using air cooling simply by raising the unlocked CPU multiplier. The Pressler Extreme Edition was intended to only be combined with the Intel 975X chipset, it could also work with the 955X chipset, though this combination was not supported by Intel. The i975X featured the ICH7 or Southbridge and supported all LGA775 Pentium 4, Pentium D, and Pentium Extreme Edition branded processors. Successor The Pentium D brand was succeeded on July 27, 2006 by the Core 2 branded line of microprocessors with the Core Micro architecture released as Dual and Quad Core Microprocessors branded Duo, Quad, and Extreme. Implementation in a single processor scenario, the CPU to Northbridge link is point to point, and the only real requirement is that it is fast enough to keep the CPU fed with data from memory. When assessing the Pentium D, it is important to note that it is essentially two CPUs in the same package and that it will face the same bus contention issues as a pair of Xeons prior to the dual independent bus architecture introduced with the dual core Dempsey Xeons. To use a crude analogy one could say that instead of using a single cable between CPU and North Bridge, one must use a Y-splitter. Leaving aside advanced issues such as cache coherency, each core can only use half of the 800 MTS FSB bandwidth when under heavy load. Comparison to Athlon 64X2, the competing Athlon 64X2, although running at lower clock rates and lacking hyper-threading, had some significant advantages over the Pentium D, such as an integrated memory controller, a high-speed hypertransport bus, a shorter pipeline, and better floating point performance, more than offsetting the difference in raw clock speed. Also, while the Athlon 64X2 inherited mature multi-core control logic from the multi-core Opteron, the Pentium D was seemingly rushed to production and essentially consisted of two CPUs in the same package. Indeed. Shortly after the launch of the mainstream Pentium D branded processors in the Athlon 64X2, a consensus arose that AMD's implementation of multi core was superior to that of the Pentium D. As a result of this and other factors, AMD surpassed Intel in CPU sales at U.S. retail stores for a period of time, although Intel retained overall market leadership because of its exclusive relationships with direct sellers such as Dell. Comparison to Pentium Dual Core, in 2007, Intel released a new line of desktop processors under the brand Pentium Dual Core, using the Core microarchitecture. The newer Pentium Dual Core processors give off considerably less heat than the Pentium D. They also run at lower clock rates, only have up to 2 MB L2 cache memory while the Pentium D has up to 2x2 MB, and they lack hyper-threading. The Pentium Dual Core has a wider execution unit and its 14 stages long pipeline is less than half the length of the Pentium D's, allowing it to outperform the Pentium D in most applications despite having lower clock speeds and less L2 cache memory. See also, List of Intel Pentium D microprocessors. References External links, Pentium D800 and 900 Series Review